Hi, my name is Terry Ferrer and I'm General Manager for Consanas Pharmacy in Washington. Our pharmacy has the huge honor and responsibility for serving over 5,000 long-term care patients and residents residing in both assisted living and skilled nursing facilities across the state of Washington. Some of you are probably thinking, why is Terry Ferrer vlogging? Because it is so not within her comfort zone. It, I really felt the need to respond to a larger audience to some questions and feedback that we have received from Consanus regarding some recent Facebook posts regarding my involvement and in participation in both Senate Bill 6203 and my recent appointment by the governor to the Washington State Pharmacy Quality Assurance Commission. So let's start with Senate Bill 6203. I am now a firm believer in the power of advocacy. My voice counts, your voice counts, but clearly only if you get involved. Long-term care pharmacy needed updated rules to reflect current standards of practice. The last time our rules were updated were in 1994. I was fortunate enough to have been involved from the inception of this important piece of legislation through partnering with associations, Washington Healthcare Association and Washington State Pharmacy Association to participating in commission stakeholder groups starting back in March of last year to meeting with Senator Parlett to discuss the importance of updating our long-term care rules, who by the way, then became a co-sponsor of our bill. I then testified in support of our bill in January to the Senate Health Care Committee as a stakeholder, and then in um, February as a commission member, also in support of the bill. Both the House and the Senate voted unanimously in support of the bill. And then our governor signed the bill on March 31st, which goes into effect on July 1st. So what's the next step? It's the rulemaking process through the Pharmacy Quality Assurance Commission. So why did I want to get involved with the Pharmacy Quality Assurance Commission? It was actually through this entire process, I knew that I wanted to continue to be involved, not just for long-term care, but for the entire practice of pharmacy. I felt it was my turn to give back and to continue to advocate for all pharmacy practices and to help ensure that we have safe medication practices in this state. So um, that's my vlog and I'm sticking to it. Have a great day.